Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today I want us to study from the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and we'll be reading from verses 19. And I'm addressing this teaching particularly to us husbands. I am saying this because I am a husband. Let us look at this land not just with respect to healing, but with respect to our relationship with our spouses. Listen, verse 19, this is from King James Version. For this is thankworthy, if a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. Listen to that again. For this is thankworthy, if a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. So in this instance, it's talking about endurance. It's talking about somebody who is taking some form of um, pressure, which is not of his own making, but he endures it. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently? But if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. So in essence, he's saying that there are times where you, through no fault of yours, suffer but you take it patiently. This is acceptable with God. Now, where am I going with this? Let's see verse 21. For even here unto were ye called, so you were called to this sort of a life, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. So he's telling us that we should follow the steps of Christ. He went through similar things. Now he goes ahead to explain. Who did no sin? So Christ did not sin. Neither was guile found in his mouth. So he was not deceptive. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. He was abused. Stuff was said about him. He refused to say the same stuff about folk. When he suffered, he threatened not. So Christ suffered and he did not react. But, commit, <clears throat> but committed himself to him that judged righteously so he left all judgment to god the father husbands are you listening to me whatever it is that you you encounter in the home front is telling us that we should imitate christ we should be like christ christ was our husband he was reviled he reviled not he suffered he did not threaten are you listening to me who did he suffer at the hands of he suffered at the hands of his wife, quote and unquote, the world that he came to to love. Are you are you listening to me? Whatever it is, is giving us the example, the blueprint to follow. It might not sound nice in the ears, but this is what my Lord is ministering to me. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. Husbands, are you listening? That we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. So, he suffered, he bore our sins. Quote and unquote, we were the, we were the wife who sinned, but he bore it. Jesus bore it. The husband bore it. Husbands, are you listening? <laughs> I'm speaking to myself too. For you were a sheep, and by the stripes of Jesus, rather, we, the wife, were healed. So there are certain blows that we husbands will receive for the healing of our wives. It's not as if we deserved it, but because of love, we take it so that the wife will be healed. Husbands, are you listening? It might not sound entertaining, but this is a, an image which the Lord has just brought before my eyes. The husband has a duty before God, like our Lord Jesus had a duty to the, to the church. That's how the husband has a duty to the wife. Notice here, the church did not, do, did not bear any suffering for Christ, quote-unquote. It's Christ that suffered for the church. Husbands, there's a blueprint. He says, 
you should follow his steps. Leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Are you following the steps of Jesus in this? It is. It doesn't sound pleasant, but this is truth. Who his own self, that is your husband. Listen to this now. Who your own self should bear the sins of your wife, quote unquote, in your own body on the tree, that you being that so that the wife being dead to sins should live unto righteousness. So the righteousness that the wife will now live is predicated on the husband bearing. So husbands, you have to bear. It doesn't sound cool to me. But you want perfect peace and harmony in the home? Why do you think we the church love Jesus? It's because he laid down his life for us. Husbands, that's the example the scripture is telling me about. Let's pause, ponder, and do likewise. And then he, he says that... For ye were as sheep. So he's talking to the wives here. Yeah, going astray. But are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. So when the husband lays his life down for the wife. She who was like a sheep. Going astray. Will now return to the shepherd and bishop of her soul. Think about it. And may the Lord give you wisdom. God bless you. Hallelujah.